What is up guys? It's been over three years since the announcement of the Cuphead DLC, and soon we will be finding out if the wait was even worth it. You see, the DLC is going to be a single island. How large yet, we don't really know. So far we know there are at least four bosses, as well as a new playable character, Miss Chalice, who will be available in both the DLC island as well as the main game. So far for bosses, we have this mountain man with a red nose. The platforms remind me of the Cagney Carnation fight. We also have this Ice King looking fellow. The snowman in the background remind me of the Grim Troop, and we see a new weapon, this triple lightning blast. The Cowgirl boss brings us back to the airplane fights, which were actually my least favorite boss fights in Cuphead, but were also amazingly animated and hopefully they improved on the mechanics of those situations. Finally, we saw this Knight Chess Piece boss, which looks hella cool, and having a duel like boss is something I have been waiting for. So that's four bosses. The most an island in OG Cup it had was Inkwell Isle 3, which had seven bosses and two running guns. If we look at the model of the Delicious Last Course Island from the trailer, you can easily see where the Ice Wizard will be, as well as the Cowgirl boss. The mouth in the mountain could be the large nose guy or the entrance to a running gun. And you can see to the south, there's an airplane, so that's probably a boss we haven't seen or an upgrade to the cup jet. To the far left is a pair of docks, and this is probably where we arrive on the island, so my guess is the first boss will be the chess piece horse down near the stable there, which will then unlock the path to the town. There are a lot of buildings in there, one with a visible entrance, so there must be at least one or two bosses there, and that's probably where we will find the merchant. Down to the south of the town is a cave entrance, so either another boss or a running gun. Now granted, this is all based off a model, so who knows what the actual island would look like. We still don't see a mausoleum to get a new super or anything. So we are probably looking at around 6 to 8 bosses, and 2 to 3 running guns. That's actually a pretty sizable chunk of DLC. Was it worth the wait? Well, I would say yes. We know how painstakingly long it took the devs to originally release Cuphead, so getting this amount of content done even in 4ish years is quite the improvement. The devs probably also had a large hand in getting the Cuphead Netflix show up and running, so that would have taken time for making the DLC. 8 bosses sounds great. I kinda hope they didn't do any running guns, as I much prefer the boss fights, but that may be an unpopular opinion. The bosses we have seen so far look amazing, and hopefully they have saved the best up for the release. I can't wait to see what surprises and new secrets are added. Who knows, maybe there's even a B-side to the island. Which brings me to another topic, what about the old stuff? You can see if they have made Miss Chalice playable in both main game and the DLC island. I wonder if they're going to add any secret bosses or levels back to the Equal Isles. Maybe new game mode or new rank types? I think the content we get from this DLC will go beyond just the delicious last course island. But I have to keep my expectations in check. The animation process is really slow, so adding content takes time, even if they have found easier methods to process their content. Once DLC island releases, I think that will be it for the Cuphead game for a while. The devs have stated on record that they really want to make a hand animated Zelda like game, which is like a dream come true for me. So watch out for an upcoming video where I break down exactly what they said and throw some theories about what we could see. I also want to do a video on the Cuphead Netflix show, but I haven't decided yet. So let me know in the comments below if you would like to see stuff like that. As always, like, subscribe, or don't, but I love you guys anyways. Help, I'm trapped in the tutorial section, 3 out of 10 game.